I mean, I hate this dumb game. Then give me the control. No, you this keep is mine. Play it, then you keep insulting. No, me doing no, this is badly. mine. This is mine. I had to, to pay money for this game, and I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna like it. Fuck. Man, you suck at that. Listen, I'm just gonna let this relaxing music wash over me, and I'm not gonna listen to your negativity anymore. Sounds awesome. I think that ragtime guy does one of these, too. Tom Brayer? Yeah, it's Tom Brayer. Or Briar. Mm. But I'm sure if you search Mario Tom Ragtime, it'll come it's up. It's not Brayer. It's not. Oh, it's Jack McBrayer. Oh, I thought it was Tom Lehrer. <laughs> Oops. Right. right, he right he sings about the elements, and then he does ragtime renditions of Super Mario Land tunes. Is that not right? Yeah, yeah, no, that's him. And sometimes science. He does science too. No, oh, what? What happened? I. It's yeah, so Tom, it's Tom rare. it's so hard to describe, but it was total horseshit. B R I E R Tom Brer. And yeah, make sure you stop and get that block. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> this game sucks. This game's awesome. Watching you play this game makes me believe that it sucks, but I know how this game looks when I'm playing it, and it doesn't look like this. It doesn't look that much better, though. It does. Listen, I want to see... Don't be the fucking Bubsy 3D guy. What is that? What's Bubsy? What? What, what is that? And Bubsy 3D is like this atrocious PlayStation 1 game, but there's some, like, guy who made a series of videos of it on YouTube who's, like... Crazy. He's got some kind of developmental thing. I forget what <laughs> what it is, but he's just like he's just obsessed with Bubsy 3D for what? some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, why is he's first just, of all, why is it a bad game? What's it what about it? It's just like it's the ugliest, clunkiest, worst 3D platformer ever. It's like Was there a Bubsy 2D? Yes. Or Bubsy Standard? Yeah, <laughs> there, there, there was a Bubsy classic, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, let me, uh, I don't know, I can't see any single... I have to, I have to drink this. You don't have to drink anything. I have to drink this. Kyle, you have a problem. It's so good. It doesn't look good. Angry Orchard, I don't care what, I don't need to listen to your... Yeah. So, what does it taste like? Tell me what it tastes like right now. Um... I don't know. It's like apples, and it's kind of like, uh, like it's like reminiscent of a ginger ale, but it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't taste the same. It's got. It's it's dry like a ginger ale is dry. That's why I like it. Just drink ginger ale. But this tastes like apples. Put apple juice and ginger ale. But this gets me drunk also. Not one of them. Well, it'll make me feel a little bit nice. That's true. They did a whole study on how, like, you start receiving the the dopamine effects of alcohol after, like, two sips. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Now you know. Oh I am... Now the one. master has become the, the teacher. Wait. <laughs> that's, a down, that's a downgrade for sure. <laughs> the master has become the teacher. <laughs> I used to be the master, and now I'm making forty thousand dollars a year teaching these shitheads. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> ah! Sorry. If you're gonna drink, you I'm gotta still give me the controller. I'm. No. Yeah. That's not a fuck off. If you're going to pause it every time you want to take a sip, you have to give me the controller. No. What the fuck? You want me to play Mario Land and take a sip of a drink at the same time? You're just giving me shit because you don't know why I like it. Like, if I was drinking a Coke, you wouldn't say anything. Yeah, I would. You... 
No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I totally would. The last time you were at my house, you told, like, my mom offered you a Diet Coke and you said no, because Keith will make me feel bad for drinking soda. <laughs> so fuck you. Of course I would. Uh, yeah, that I, one's the hardest. But I made it. I know. I made it and then I fell because the controls in this game are shit. No, because you True don't know how to handle it. True story. True story. This is a Mario for the advanced player. I don't like this music. Uh, me neither. And there's just like a spaceship hanging out like, I'm a spaceship. A drawing of a spaceship. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like this music. Yeah, it's alright. I don't think it fits for the shooter aspect of it, but... It makes it jolly. Yeah. I like how, like, their, I their idea of... I guess an underwater spaceship? I guess a submarine. Let's call it a submarine. Okay. Their idea of a submarine is... Mario inside a bubble with, like, a little flagellum. Uh, yeah, those octopuses. Dude, it was the Game Boy. Like, what are you gonna do? Oh, okay. No, I, 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 appar like I apparently move. I lose nothing. I lose no progress. In fact, I think I went forward a little bit. Whoa! So you got back by one page, I think. No, I wasn't here before. You didn't lose a life? I did. Oh, I did do that. Those guys will turn around and eat you, so. What's this spell? This was Mary. Mario. <sighs> Mario. You play, uh, Mario? I fucking hate people that call I, it Mario. Yeah, I can't stand it. I I don't know if it's a regional thing or if it's just someone that's under it's, like, Is it's, it like Bagel? I don't know. It's partially... It's like a lot of people that, like, just no one told them how to say it, so they just said it like that, and now they're like, fuck you, it's just how I say it. Like, as if there's some debate about how the name Mario is pronounced. Like, it's a name. Like, you can't be like... Like, if someone was named Rick... Yeah, like, if you said... If you, if you pronounced... Like, if someone's name was Caitlin, and you called it Catlin, and she's like, no, no, it's Caitlin. You would like, this is how I pronounce it. Well, it's not about how you pronounce it. Because <laughs> I'm Caitlin. It's, it's about how Gumpei Yokoi pronounces it. Oh, you know what? I fought that guy, but you can also just go right past him and go under here. Yes. By the way, I do I do know someone who refuses to call people Caitlyn because he just learned... He knew one person named Catlin, and now he just calls everyone Catlin. Oh, my God. Isn't that the worst That person thing? should be crucified. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, I pressed the button and nothing happened. You didn't press it hard enough. Apparently not. Nice. I, I think the strategy that I used to employ that I forgot that I'm going back to is I'm just going to try to line up Mario. Like, I was trying to line up Mario with a ladder. Instead, I'm going to try to just line up Mario and hope the ladder isn't there. Oh, that's my strategy too, so that works really well. Yeah. Oh! Fuck off. That usually game. results in, in getting a two. Because usually the ladder's there anyway, and the two and the three are connected. So. Which might be wrong, but I think a lot of times they're connected. Um Have you so did you end up seeing the heat? I don't I don't think you no, saw that. No, no. It's a good movie. It's funny. It looked, uh, yeah, I believed you. I, I ended up like uh, learning who wrote the movie, and I think that the person that wrote it is very funny. Um, I can't remember her name. The the person who directed is the same director as Bridesmaids, which I also just saw for the first I thought, time. Thought Bridesmaids is fucking great. I love the shit out of. Bridesmaids. Here's the thing: all I knew about Bridesmaids was the title poster, and like the poster has them all wearing these dresses. I went into the movie thinking it was gonna be the worst pile of shit I ever seen, and I thought it was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. The only thing was that. The poster is, like, them all wearing dresses, which the dresses don't even appear in the movie, which is weird. Uh, but they're all, like, standing against a brick wall, and they all look, like, disgruntled and somewhat disheveled. 
Yeah. So I thought it was gonna be one of those like longest night movies where like they're off yeah. at a party it, and something I, goes wrong and then they can't get home. I 100% thought it was gonna be like a weird hangover for girls. Yeah. Thing. And it wasn't. Were you d disappointed that it wasn't that? I don't. Because I was relieved that it wasn't. I don't. That. Well. I also have had, like, months of people telling me it's, like, incredible, so I was like, I guess it's, like, an incredible version of one of those movies. Oh, okay. Um, so I was kind of disappointed, like, in a way, in just that I was looking forward to that kind of movie, and that's not oh, what okay. I got. Oh, okay, yeah. It's sort of like, like, if you're expecting, uh, Coke and it's apple, like, it's, uh, grape juice, and even if you like grape juice, you're expecting Coke. So whatever goes into your mouth yeah. and Coke is automatically... I, I certainly wasn't disappointed. It was a very good movie. John Hamm's really funny in that movie. Yeah, yeah. And then the guy from uh, I didn't. So that was the thing. I didn't know John John Hamm had like been in a funny role. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's like he's in very... in like a movie as opposed to just like appearing on that comedy show or something. Yeah, no, he has legitimate comedy roles. Yeah, he's. he's... Hey, have, you, have you seen him in Thirty Rock? He's a funny guy. No, he I don't played, watch. He that played movie. Liz Lemon's show. Uh, Tina Fey's girlfriend. Uh, uh boyfriend. boyfriend. Yeah, and he was fucking hilarious. I got everywhere wrong in that sentence, but <laughs> yeah, he plays like uh, his character. Like he at first he seems awesome because he's just like really nice uh, uh, doctor who has all these skills, and then she slowly realizes that he's actually shitty at everything. But people just do whatever he wants because he's so handsome. So he lives in this handsome bubble where he's handsome. They call, they call it the handsome bubble, where like everything just goes right for him constantly, and people are always just telling him that he's great at all these things. But it's just because he's so good looking. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, like he's a tennis instructor, but he can't play tennis, and he's a doctor, but he doesn't know how to do anything. Um, and uh, like he orders off menu at restaurants. That was a big thing that <sighs> they pointed out. You mean like things that aren't on the menu? Yeah, like yeah, off menu. Well, That's I was thing. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, like he went to they were at a diner and he ordered like like flame broiled catfish or something, <laughs> and uh, and they just like got it for him, and they made a point of showing. Uh, you can do it on. still. There, there we go. go. Whew. Um, speaking of doctors, though. I watched the first season of Grey's Anatomy. You did watch the whole first season? I did watch the whole first season. You didn't tell me that when you were talking about it earlier. Um, oh, you said that you wanted to wait to talk about it. So I guess that's... Because Nicole really likes that show, and she was like, you should watch it. And I was like, I've seen Grey's Anatomy a lot. I hate it. Do you hate it? Oh, I think it... I don't hate it, no. I think it was more like I forgot... Like, in my memory of it was a lot more negative than the reality was. Mm -hmm. But also, I think it might be... Like, I'm expecting that... I'm expecting the show to get, like, worse every season. I'm already in season two. I'm already kind of feeling like that. Um, I... But I... This is, it, this is what I'm talking about with just TV dramas in general, is they can't... They just well, I don't think have staying power. I think it's going to have the same problem that Scrubs has, because, of course... Uh, wait, wait, what are you talking about? Well... There's a problem with Scrubs? <laughs> Yeah, there's a problem with Scrubs. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you. Are, are they called the last three seasons, or are they? Uh, I is think there another problem. I think they're called the last six seasons. Seriously? Wait, I think how many every seasons season were there? Up, there were nine. Yeah. Okay. There you I go. think every season I up it. to six was great. I think six might have been the one where I stopped watching. You told me you didn't finish five. Okay, so it was that one. I think that's foolish, and I think some of the best episodes were in, the, in five and six. I think what disappointed me, even though I still love, like, season two of Scrubs... You're which, just mad that they didn't focus more on Neil Flynn's character. No. Um, what I liked about season one was it was a lot about, like, um, the trials and tribulations of being a new doctor. But there's only so much of that you can really do. Yeah. In a show before you kind of have to just... Like, so when they got around to season two, it was like, we kind of already did a lot of this new doctor stuff. So then they just started having, like just drama about like relationships and stuff well i mean it was, it was still it was, was still a great about, show i mean it, that stuff was always even the first season all all the b stories were about relationship dramas but, true like, it uh, just, the main stuff was always doctor stuff yeah it just it just wasn't as good that's all i think you're wrong i think you're seriously wrong you think, I think you're in a bad you think, space when you're watching you think season 
You think season two of Scrubs is better than season one of Scrubs? No, I think season one's the best season. But I think season three. Okay, is better so than then what two. are we arguing about? I'm yeah, arguing season that. season three is better than season two. You're right. And I think that season four is better than season two. Oh. I think season two is the weakest season. Season two is pretty weak. I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong. Pro. Pro. I don't think there's anything wrong with any season of Scrubs until seven. Because once you have seven seasons of something, that's too much. God damn it. The thing that bothers me about Grey's Anatomy is that... Is uh, the Asian doctor's face. Yes. <laughs> like, that's not what I was going to say, but holy shit, yes. It's not... Okay, you can have an unattractive person in a TV show. It's totally fine. But, like... She's it's, not... Oh, it's, fuck. It's she's like, not even, like, she's not unattractive. Even unattractive. It's like... There's something. Her face has a permanent look about it. There's a, her face has a permanent look of worry and confusion. Yeah, cause like her mouth's always like half like she always ah, she always looks like she misheard someone. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's and she's weird. worried about it. <laughs> she's worried. Yeah. But no, okay. What actually, and, and the fact that, like, she's supposed to be a medical intern that's, like, just out of college, and she's, like... She's, like, 43. She's, <laughs> she's literally, like, 43. And she's so clearly older than all of the other interns. It's just so weird. Like, I just look at her, and I just can't buy her as an intern. I know. It's not... I've seen... I you know, mean, I mean, unless they... If you they, have a mother, or if you have any... An aunt, anyone, then you've seen Grey's Anatomy, but... It's like I've seen that show. Yeah. Something about her is so weird. I it's it's difficult. Like I just find it weirdly upsetting, and I don't know why. Upsetting. Yeah, she. You're right. She's not. It's not that she's unattractive. It's just there's something about her face that's un. It's, it's just. It's kind of unsettling. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. <laughs> and here's the thing, like, it's, I would like if it was a comedy, they could play off of it. Like they like. Playing off of ugly, ugly people in comedies is like a is a well trodden path, but in a drama, it's just uh, like, uh, are they uh, gonna bring it up? Are they not gonna bring? Are they gonna bring up her weird face? <laughs> and they never do. No one ever says anything. Also, the thing for me is like I'm really just off put by how much older she is than her character is supposed to be, and I just wonder like. If you really... She's supposed to be a medical intern right out of college? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Or like I right, thought... you know, right out of whatever you do before you're an intern doctor person. Medical school. Yeah. College. Sure. Medical college. Yes. That. So she's supposed to be like 28 to 30? Basically, yeah. yeah and she's, she and she's like a like good 10 to 15 years older than that. Yeah. I would, and... I would I'd put her at 37 probably. If she ended up being like 32. No, apparently she's even older than she looks. Oh really? Yeah. So would, did some casting agent like not read the script? Yeah, I was talking to that with Nicole, and she was just like, maybe they just liked her a lot or something, which is like fine. But like, why not just have her and just be like, oh, she yeah. went to med school late. Like she, I don't know, got her shit together late in life. I don't know. That could. That's a thing, right? People yeah, that's a thing. Do that. I yeah. Don't, I assume. I assume you don't get to med school and they're like, you're over 30? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but it's, it one, it's rare. Two, they don't make weird backstory choices like that on network TV shows. <laughs> they don't, they hmm. don't do it. Why not? They could have all kinds of storylines about how she's older. Yeah, but they didn't, which means they didn't think of it. So they here we are at the final whatever. world, and it's just kind of like this. Again, music really good. Just kind of weird. This place is weird. And there's like there's these the hopping guys, karate yeah. girls or something. No, they're, they're elf men. I they're, mean. uh, no. They're clearly karate girls. Don't they're not elf men? This, this clearly Asian themed? Why would, why would they be <laughs> elf men? I always thought they were elf <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's They don't it? look like <gasps> elves. They don't look like little elves. No, they don't look, hats? they don't look like little elves with hats. <laughs> they look like girls with braided hair. Or like hair tied back. What's insidious about them is that they don't die. You jump on them and they get squished, and then yeah, yeah, after and a couple seconds they get back up. I wouldn't call it insidious. It's insidious. It's a little more normal. Like you jump on someone's head, they're down for a second or two. 
about Not it. Not these turtles. Yeah, they explode, which is way overkill. You should be booking it through this level. This is a run level. Shut up, Keith. Really good music. Yeah, this music's great. I don't, some of this music is, like, I would say probably like 60% of the songs in this game are the best Mario songs. But they're also not like, this is really good. It's also not reminiscent of Mario at all. You know, so it's I almost have a hard time saying, oh, it's like one of the best Mario songs. Because it doesn't feel like a Mario song at all. But this is a, like of it, the good songs in this game. It feels, this like, a, that feels like that. It's like a licensed uh, soundtrack for Mario. It's like we're going to take all these songs from other places and put it in a Mario only, game. But only this one song feels like that. Uh, I think like I think the I think they all feel very un Mario. But I think the like the World 1 tune is the one that feels the most like a traditional Mario. Fuck. God. A rookie mistake. I like that when you respawn, everything is like dead on the first screen. This music is so traditionally Asian that it's almost upsetting, though. Why? I don't know. You die, and it's like, diddle, 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 diddle. isn't that? Hey, they were. Hey, they're Japanese. They they're allowed. They can do that. I don't know. Is Tyler Perry not racist? Like, you can be racist. You can do a. I'm not racist, but problematic thing of your own race. I would not liken this at all to a Tyler Perry. No, Perry's I wouldn't. Movie. I was just giving you an example of how, like, of how Tyler Perry movies are terrible, I guess is my example. Ugh, I know. They're really bad. At a certain point, I feel bad because I don't think I've actually even seen one. But I I've saw just, one. I've seen, like, clips and... Box art. I've also, the I've the seen box his art's shows? almost enough, quite yeah. honestly. Yeah, you can look at it and, like, the box. Okay, reputation, box art, title. That's all you need to judge a Tyler Perry movie on. <laughs> like this is a this is a movie called Medea Goes to Prison with a man dressed up as a large woman, and it's it's got <laughs> Tyler Perry's name on it. You can probably go. I don't need to watch this. I know that it's bad. Yeah. I think the, the, the problem with the Tyler Perry thing is there's always the issue of race that comes up. Which is, oh, it's not for you. It's like, it's not for anyone. I don't know about that. I think it's, ex I think, I think that it's for us to look at and go, ugh, them. Whoa, wait, what did you just say? Yeah. No, I totally think that. I think that's why those movies get greenlit. They make, first of all, they make a lot of money. I think they're like, it's not for us to watch. It's for a racist person to look at and go, ugh, of course. I, I, I know that because I know racist people that look at that, those and go, ugh, of course. Like my whole family. Yeah. Um. Like, if my if my grandfather saw a Tyler Perry trailer, he would go, like, he he would just like. He'd be like, they're at it again. Like, that's all. <laughs> like, they're up to their old schemes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. This level blows. Let me try. Eat a dick, Keith. All right. I'm going back to not using the run button very much. Had he been using it? Yeah. This thing... Die, God. Like, you don't have to be the target audience for something to enjoy it. You also don't have to be the target audience for something to know... Yeah. Like, that, like, oh, I don't like this, oh. but I can tell that it's a quality product. Uh, so, are you familiar with the Disney Channel show Ant Farm? No. Nope. Okay. So you know your your thing about 
that you've been complaining about. Two with, dumb characters, with the di- like the unbelievably, two, the, the unbelievably like incredibly dumb character. Yeah, I always thought you were like exaggerating. No, no. And I Jesus saw one of these Christ, characters, man. and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's insane. Can you give an example? Because like I, he was like, um, is it this was, a live action TV show? Yes. Okay. And it was a character that was like, is the main character like, like they go to school but they're still famous? No, no, okay. I don't think there's like so. No, seven of them. It's just, um, it's just precocious middle schoolers or something. Yeah, that's the uh, like, it's it's either precocious middle schoolers <sighs> that go to school but are still famous, or just precocious middle schoolers. Um, and so the char- like the character was like, "Hey, turn that frown upside down," and then he did a handstand. And he's like, man, if only there were an easier way to turn a frown upside down. And then he took his fingers and started, like, poking at the corners of his mouth in a frown to try to, like, make it a smile. And then he proceeded to do that for, like, another two minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's... it's... And then... And then I... I turned the TV on yesterday and was already on Disney Channel... And I was a show was on, and I was like, "Oh, this fucking show! I hate this." Do you know what show it was? I just—it's called Ant Farm. Oh, okay. And I—this I, is a different show. Well, that was the thing. I assumed it was the same because I was like, "Well, this is clearly the exact same show as Ant Farm." No. But it was a different show, and like right after that was a commercial for Ant Farm, and I was like, "God damn it!" Do you know what that show was called? No. No. There's one I can't. I can't think of the name. Of the one, like, oh, you know, okay. Because I remember, you, uh, sorry, like, you were unsure, like, like, are, are we just remembering wrong? Like, were, are these shows legitimately worse than, like, the Disney Channel shows that were on when we were that yeah, age? Yeah, yeah, yes. They're literally, like, they, tem- they absolutely they are. They are templated much shows worse. with, like, the same characters with different names, with their, with slightly different backgrounds, but they're, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the same team of writers worked on, like, six different shows. And they were given a script and it said, turn this script into four episodes of four different shows. It might be called Good Luck Charlie. That might be the one that I'm thinking of. Yep, that was the one. Okay. And there's, like, a blonde boy. And he's, like... he's They're, they're like... Man! Like... Take a chill pill! And he's, like... Dry! Like, what? (laughs) What does that mean? Like, it's... <laughs> oh, I can think of one specific instance of a thing. I finally remembered one. It was Good Luck Charlie. It was that guy that's that I'm talking about. Where, you know, the one that they have that he has that haircut. No, they've got yeah. No, they, they are, uh, <laughs> I only saw it for like two seconds. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's the one with the haircut. The one with that yeah. haircut. Uh-huh. That same hair. The sure. Same haircut they all yeah, have. Yeah. Whatever. Um. Uh. He, he was told, I think he was re- being reprimanded. <laughs> Listen to how old we sound. You know, the, that one kid with that haircut that they all have? <laughs> all the fucking kids today have that fucking haircut? No, all the, all the male actors on the Disney Channel have that haircut. Um, he was told, like, he should be more polite, and he should, like, let this... He was, like, someone was like, you should let that guy go in front of you, because he's whatever. And uh, he was... So he, like, okay, now I know to let people in front of me when this happens, or whatever. And, um, uh, they left him alone to wait in line for this new album. Uh, for, so, there was a line at the record store to get this new album. Uh, and they were like, wait in line for me, I have to go get this thing. And people kept on asking him to cut him, and he just, like, let 30 or 40 people go in front okay. of him. Because they just keep, they kept him be like, oh, can I, well, can that's I get what, in front of you? That's I gotta what, do this thing. That's what he was told. Yeah, he was told to Fuck do that. So, this uh, game. Like, naturally, you would let about 40 people go in front of you. Well, yeah, what else would you do? Yeah, I don't know. Did you not get a game over yet? I did, oh. and I continued. Is this your last continue, or do you have another one? This is my last continue. I beat this game before, like, no problem. What did you beat it on, this? Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe because we're, t- we're, like, talking now. Yeah, that was the thing. Like, oh, yeah. okay, so I never even got back to what what I don't... Like, I... What are we talking it, about? It's so conflicting to me. Grey's Anatomy. Okay. Because the... 
the reason I like Grey's Anatomy is like th like this is the reason why I like it so much, but it also like really bothers me how much that show is just exactly scrubs with Without less com com with less comedy and more drama. Yeah. Like it's the exact template. Like it's not just oh, like that's, oh that's that's what bo that's like why I can't watch that show. Yeah, it's not just like oh they're it's a doctor show so it's like scrubs. It's like no, like they have the same thing where it's like they have like um you know, like they have the thing where like the climactic moments of the show will always feature like a, you know, some song from some little known artist playing over the thing. It begins and ends, and sometimes in between there's um, voiceovers, voiceovers from yeah. the main character, and and she's can I can I guess she's probably have a, having a hard time adjusting to being a doctor. Yeah, well, she's going through life and learning lessons. Yeah, um, and like. You know, it has that same kind of, like, to a certain extent, this is, like, a lot of medical shows, but, you know, it's, like, every episode starts with, like, a number of new patients, and then, like, you know... Although, to be fair, I've never seen ER. Ha, ha, maybe Scrubs is just ER. I have no idea. Uh, but I'm, I'm saying, like, Grey's Anatomy is Scrubs, like, to a different extent. Like, like I said, like... Like how every show has a dramatic moment with a song, and there's the voiceover and like that thing. Yeah. You know, it's it's a little more than that. And there's also, um, you know, it kind of trades on like the same kind of moments of like, oh, like you didn't think this patient had anything that was that serious, but then they suddenly died. You know, like there's that kind of thing happening. You're a talking lot about of... the um, uh, Brendan Fraser episodes. Yeah, oh man, the Brendan Fraser Those episodes. Those are fucking great. Those, that's the best thing Brendan Fraser's ever done. Ever done. By far. Man, yeah, that was so mummy, sad. The movie's okay, but those are the like... There was, um, in... Monkey Bone? We, I, took a, I took a I took a sign language class in high school. Fuck off. And the first thing you learned to do is I sign Brendan Fraser? I fucking hate this game. These stupid birds. Birds suck. Just get out of their way, though. We had to, like, one of our, like, uh late semester projects was we had to like pick a song and learn how to sign it and uh, I picked the song that plays when uh, Dr. Cox goes to uh, Brendan Fraser's funeral which song is that? I don't remember what it's called but can you sing it? Um, can you sign it? <laughs> not really <laughs> but part of the re admittedly part of the reason I chose it was because it was such a slow song can you spoken word it for me? Um, what was it? It you was gotta like... Kill those oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, there you go. It was something like... All I can remember now is like... Like a cold November downtown. That's all I can really remember about it. Scrubs, a cold November downtown. Or just type like lyrics, cold November downtown. It's... it's Winter by Joshua Raiden. There you go. Yeah. That was quick. <clears throat> yeah, I'm very good at the internet. I've been using it for a long time. I fucking hate this boss. I should know who I am by now. I yeah. walk. The record stands somehow. Thinking of winter. Your name is the splinter inside me while I wait. <laughs> And I remember the sound of your November downtown, and I remember the truth. A warm December with you, but I don't have to make this mistake. And I don't have to stay this way. If only I would wake. I hate this boss. Stop. Your voice is hey, Keith. I'm at the final boss. Okay. Can I finish doing that when you're done? Uh, I guess you can. I, I don't... Nah, was I'm there... Gone. Yeah, I think... Hey! Thank God, because that boss took me a lot of tries one time. It's it's just like you go a little bit. the The trick with that boss is to not worry about hitting him and just like yeah. hammer on the button yep. and avoid the thing. I know because eventually he'll just die. But even then, I I took a long time. So finally, Princess Daisy. Oh, Daisy, 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 Daisy. Oh, he's got that haircut. Me and my baby getting in this jet plane, taking off. He does have that haircut. It's a little different. That's just a style. It's just a thing that kids have. But it's now. like it's so. But it's like all those TV shows. They have the same. But you're, you're right. The yeah. Same. No. Hair. No. It's like, hey, no argument from me, producer. Geo Koi. We could have just waited. 
Oh what man, is, that would have been. Can you tell me what that G stands for? Gumpei. <laughs> it's such a good name. Satoru Okada. Wait a what? Oh. Yeah, it says because it's yeah. Yamamoto. It looks like Miyamoto. Because <laughs> it had a, it had the M there. Yeah. The problem is we left this game paused for like an hour and a half, so I have no idea how long it took us to beat this game. Who knows? Longer than it should have. Probably, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a good song, too. Yes, this, this is hot. Hot jams up in here. I want a remix of this song with, like, more instrument. Move over, Koji Kondo. You know what movie I saw recently? I would have bet a million dollars that said special thanks to Taxi. I would have bet a million dollars. It said Taki. I know, but it, it, a K kind of looks like an X. Okay. So that's uh, another game down. Another, uh, like, main game down. Yeah, Mark the Mario. Mark What's the next thing that we're doing? The end. Um, the next thing we're doing... We've got a couple more side games coming up. Like NES stuff, Dr. Mario, some other stuff I don't really want to spoil. But then, get into a little game that I like to call Super Mario World. And I call it that because that's what it's called. You know what I call it? What? Also Super Mario World. Oh. Yeah. And I remember the sound of your November downtown. And I remember the truth, a warm December with you, but I don't have to make this mistake. And I don't have to stay this way. If only I would wake.